and I will make it happen. Like I hear him saying, I'll make you notice me again. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope you guys are doing incredibly well. I wanted to come on right now and share a very quick reading with you guys about the masculine energies. I've been getting a lot of synchronicities around sensuality as well. And so the messages that I'm getting for the feminine collective from your masculines is that, you know, they're really in a state of calm and peace and appreciation for the connection with you. Now, in the last reading, I talked about them standing up for themselves and drawing boundaries, and they've actually been putting this into practice, and they're feeling a lot more free, like a lot uh, has lifted off their shoulders in terms of taking accountability for other people's life lessons, if you will. And what this is doing is it's freeing up a lot of time. Like, I feel like they don't feel very obligated to people anymore. Like, they're not answering their phones or making unnecessary plans right now because they're protecting themselves and their energy and more so like they just want to be alone right now to really think clearly about their goals and their plans for next year and I feel like the feminine has a lot to do with their focus because she's setting the example of really taking care of herself her priorities she's setting her ducks all in a very neat and aligned row and so he's wanting to catch up to her you know like the energy I'm getting is like he's watching you and it's really turning him on now to see you and your element divine feminine <laughs> because I think like in the beginning it was not like that like many of the feminines came into the connection feeling like very bare like you didn't have anything to offer maybe you connected with your masculine and you guys might have had this amazing connection and then boom he ghosts you and like goes off to his karmic situation where they might like be very well off vacationing all over the place like doing all these lavish things and it's like there you are experiencing the dark night of the soul feminine and having a lot of tower moments and what i want to remind you guys of is like be thankful for those tower moments like be thankful for you know the hard times because you guys are going to bounce back and be these beautiful phoenixes that i don't even know if phoenixes is a word but you know these this beautiful phoenix rising out of the ashes energy and i promise you like that's what the universe has in store so if you are going through like a really heavy period right now surrender let it happen experience the darkness and you know that's just like if you're at this part of the journey you know and i promise you like what's on the other side of that is such a blessing because the tables have to turn at some point so what the masculines are having to go through right now is like that dark period that you feminines went through in the beginning so they're now watching you flourish and like <laughs> the funny part is is like you guys did it from like the ground up like you guys built empires from scratch and i i can even tell some of the divine feminines at some point lost track of like how all of these things have unfolded for them enjoy this energy and um know that the masculines are okay like let them sit with this feeling for for you know what they will like the hanged man card is what i get and when they're hanging upside down they're actually looking at the world from that view or from that perspective where you've actually turned their world upside down where they no longer feel victorious with all of their pentacles because you are showing them what emotional abundance looks like you know what mental and spiritual abundance look like so they're kind of like <laughs> feeling like they're competing with that side of things and so now they're feeling a little bit inexperienced okay so they really want to meet you and your empress energy and what i mean by that is they want to have it all just like you do and i think for a lot of the feminines in the beginning like 
you didn't think that you could be like a mom and a dad both to your kids you didn't think that you could be a stay-at-home mom and still earn money you know it's like the universe is surprising you with a lot that you can do and it's showing you just how much it has your back so with this abundance and blessing um, just be receiving to the masculines because they are definitely going through their fair share of having to be the observer and really longing and yearning for you but the universe is like no we're not letting her go back into that energy of like chasing after you and like trying to help you know your process or your journey along by I don't know like easing the blow like he's learning to rollerblade and like you're no longer tying his knees and elbows with pillows you're just like okay see ya <laughs> you push him down the hill <laughs> you're like have fun <laughs> but he can handle it he can handle it he's gonna learn how to you know do some crazy tricks on that roller skates or damn roller blades and he's gonna show you so you know in the meantime like of course like the sexual sensual energy is coming through i had a dream about lips and so yeah i know weird right particularly just lips <laughs> and so yeah a lot of sensual energy coming through um they're trying to send clear messages like read in between the lines um stay with me pay attention to me um what i get is maybe you guys are at a distance and you know when two people communicate it's like you try your best to just read each other's lips it's like that would be so awesome if you could read each other's lips from like a, you know a room full of people and you guys are like on each opposite ends of the room that's what he's asking you to do like look in my direction and trust me okay and so maybe he's just asking you to open up your energy again to feel him a little bit but what he's wanting you to feel is like this i don't know like yeah the sexual oh, longing for you i guess like he's missing you guys for sure but i haven't felt like the sexual pull from the the masculines in a really long time but it's it's coming back like I can feel the motions and the, the hot flashes and we had a snowstorm a little bit of a snowstorm today um, and so yeah feeling the heat and the snow <laughs> but, but yeah let me just see what the cards have to say this is like directly how he's looking at you feminine and just feeling about you and let's just dig into his energy and his mind because clearly he wants to send you guys a message he's not trying to hide what's on his mind I guess Okay, so just turn that over. Okay, yeah, so he definitely sees you, you know, in this Empress energy. Um, I think you had to kind of like sit back down and do your thing, self care. And through the self care, many of you have given yourself a chance to just breathe and take care and nurture yourself. And what this has done is like it's completely taken away the focus of. The chasing and through the self-care you actually even recognize that the chasing was like it was like unattractive to you you're like hold on how am i doing bruh like this is not me and so you sat back down on your throne divine feminine you know now that you've sat back down and i love the conch shell too because um i just think it's so like i don't know again <laughs> with, with the lips you know you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> he's just attracted to you like crazy feminine like when i look at this card i see her feeling very satisfied in every area of her life and it's like finally like i can breathe again like i can feel and see myself again and this is coming like through all of the work that you guys have done like rather than get into the energies of being like jealous or fearful about what was going on in the masculine's life especially when it, if like he was dealing with like a karmic situation for example and you know how them karmics be posting up their pictures and trying to show you this this and that but they don't even know that you could just read the energy in your masculine's eye and know what's up <laughs> so you know i feel like you'd stop playing all these games because it's like the more the karmic tried to do these things you're like god damn like i hope he gonna be okay universe and you had to sign out okay and when you signed out like the universe blessed you with you know a lot of fierce wisdom and protection behind you knowing that you know you're constantly moving through cycles in life no matter what happens you're gonna shed your skin and start anew and that's what you've done feminine like it doesn't matter how many times he's dogged you in the past embarrassed you made you feel pain and hurt you took that pile of heap of, of shit <laughs> excuse me for this energy right now guys but it's just wild it's what i'm feeling and um you know you're like you know what like i'm gonna take this i'm gonna bring it back to my garden and i'm gonna plant some flowers all right 
I'm gonna plant some flowers and this will be some good manio for my flowers <laughs> and that's what you did divine feminines and honestly the universe has been rewarding you guys for it and this is what's putting him in this energy of like you know shit like he lost his footing you know he really thought he had things Guan in in the 3d and you were like do you really want to see like what's going in in the 3d because i can show you <laughs> and then you did it from nothing you know and what i'm seeing too is like a lot of the feminines out there like i'm telling you man like you guys were working like one or two jobs that you have to come home and take care of the kids you're dealing with your karmic situations as best as you could dealing with all of your masculines wounding and the whole back and forth with him and then waking up at like 6, 7 o'clock a.m. and doing the whole thing like it's nobody's business all over again. And that period of your time <laughs> and your life, Divine Feminine, hello, abundance. All right, the universe is rewarding you guys. Now we can look back on those times and really laugh, right? Kick our feet up and cross our legs. But, but, he's not taking it like that, all right? He's not taking it so. He's like, nah, man. You know, he'll go off in his hanged man position and in his hermit mode and whatever. But this is the sexual energy I'm talking about that I was feeling. The ability to come into your dreams and show you something like him licking his lips. Or the ability to come into your dreams and show you nothing but like a sensual kiss with the tongue. Or hold you in a way that makes you know he is there and he's not going anywhere. And you wake up from that dream and you're like... Whew. Give my cool handkerchief. <laughs> you guys have to wipe off that lip sweat, yo. <laughs> no pun intended from that lip dream. But yeah, I get the lip sweat, guys, when I get nervous and stuff. It's so embarrassing. I could be anywhere, like a formal function, well dressed, hair did, nails done. And then I show up in a crowd and I'm like sweating buckets, my forehead, my lips. <laughs> and I have a crease in my chin, so that gets filled up with sweat too. So embarrassing, but. Your magician wants to let you know, like, just like he can't run from the connection, you can't run from the connection either. And if he feels you in, his, in your empress energy, that's going to push him in the magician energy to really start making things happen. The magician is very assertive. Like, he's your man that is, you know, a man's man. Like, anything he can turn into gold. Like, he can all of a sudden wake up with this new vibrant energy of just... <laughs> going forward coming up with new concepts like having new epiphanies being this like brand new person just like that just because he wants to and then all of a sudden things just start falling into place really quickly and this all comes from just watching you you know, surrender and be in that very energy of just loving yourself and taking care of yourself you know and i feel like the ten of cups comes up <laughs> to just kind of like calm these two down here right now because you know the ten of cups is letting us know like now is a time for completion like cycles are ending off for you both you guys are learning from each other and you guys are growing and like the whole bond and seal and glue to this connection is the fact that you guys are making each other grow despite bad times right and like the sexual chemistry between you two is just a bonus like it's a boost she's offering him his her, the fruit and he's walking off like i can't accept that fruit until i can match you believe me and i will make it happen like i hear him saying i'll make you notice me again because he he feels how you guys pulled away okay and it turned them on a little i don't know it like it makes them get into this energy of like seeing you be very like i don't i don't you know care like i can love you from afar kind of thing it's like that self-worth is a turn on for him and i feel like it's a turn on for him because it actually awakens like this energy in him that makes him feel very attractive and when he's feeling really good about himself like you know, looking at himself in the mirror again, putting in self-care practices, maybe shaving more often, um, you know, combing up his hair and ting, 
maybe going and working out at the gym like working out at home if gyms are closed like <laughs> whatever the case is he's feeling himself again and so when he's feeling himself he's actually putting in work to his body his mental health his spiritual self and when he's doing all of this like telepathy is flooding in like crazy and he's just feeling on cloud nine with his feminine and like something tells me too he's really trying to fight the feeling of like this is all an illusion it's all a fantasy you're working for nothing when you go to her she's gonna reject you like he's really trying to dismiss all of these thoughts and realize like hey i can think whatever it is i want my thoughts create magic and if i want my feminine from now on all my thoughts are going to be focused on where it is i'm going to be taking her out for dinner like where it is we're going to be having coffee like all of these silly little things that you guys have always wanted to to do like go paddle boating go camping go hiking like <laughs> all of the things that you couldn't do with your karmic partner because they thought it was like lame or stupid or not exciting enough your counterpart is going to be like egging you on to go like they're going to be up before you in the morning bags packed ready to go on this trip just because it is just something that excites you so it excites them and together it's like creating that third energy of sending off that loving vibration into the world the way two people should connect and should be with each other is like the energy in the air you know and oh goodness mm -mm. it's making him feel like i'm the king of the world well you know the king of his heart in this case but um yeah this is a man that's becoming a little bit more knowledgeable about what it is he wants what it is he desires what makes him feel really full and fulfilled at the end of the day you know and like the king of chalices is not very much concerned with like the material world and wealth and all of this stuff because i think he knows he can get those things if he really wanted to like just his charismatic personality his charm his loving vibration can bring in abundance to him in every area of his life but um i think you know like what he's feeling is like i am ready to invite love into my life like i'm ready to take care of my lady and i get that for a lot of the masculines like they don't want to take no for an answer or hear that you could do it for yourself like they see you in this way where it's like you deserve to have everything and they can't wait to show you this side of life and to treat you in this way and i think that in return what the feminine is going to bring to the table is just this very warm and nurturing and loving non-judgmental carefree space that he can finally just sit down and relax in all right guys <laughs> i hope this reading finds you all well um hit me up on wizio if you guys want to connect for a reading okay i'm doing a special for the month of december and january where it's 20 percent off my services guys so go on the website hit me up let's connect 20% is just amazing. I hope that it is a great incentive for you guys to at least try out um, some of the services that I've got on wizio.com and um, it gives you a chance to just connect with me one-on-one -on -one and ask me personal questions about your connection and you know we can just kind of get into it and the website allows you to either send me a video, send me a voice recording or just send me a written message about what it is you want to dig into okay so I'm super excited about that and um, I look forward to um, hanging with you guys. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. I love you guys. Thank you for being there for me and for each other. And um, welcome again to all of the new subscribers. Um, I'll catch you guys soon, okay? My little guy is uh, protesting up there. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> so that's my cue to go. I love you guys. Take care and I'll speak with you soon. Bye.